lol. Hello, and welcome to my couch. Excuse all of this. I've had a really long day. I was editing this video, completely forgot about my intro. The lighting in this house is absolutely atrocious, but I just cannot be bothered to go get my softboxes right now. I'm so comfortable where I'm sitting. I'm back today with a what I eat in a day video. I know a lot of you do not give a shit about my food videos completely understand you're here for the makeup but you'll be surprised how many people actually want to see this type of content from me I absolutely love what I eat in a day videos I find them very inspiring they get me in the mood to cook and to eat different things I get ideas and I especially like it when people include recipes which I have done in this video so everything that you need to know will be listed in the description box below I go through pretty much how I make everything on this particular day I was a little bit carb heavy and the reason is I did an hour of carb cardio and maybe like 45 minutes of weight training so I had completely exhausted my body and I needed to basically refuel. I don't always eat this carb heavy but on this particular day I did and I don't always eat the same things either. I like to switch things up every few days otherwise I get bored and then I end up binging or craving garbage food and not actually cooking at home. So I do like to switch it up. I eat all sorts of things which will make for very good content if this is well received. If you guys like these types of videos please let a girl know in the comments. It'll help me gauge whether or not I should do these in the future. I really hope that you enjoy these types of videos because honestly, if I had to choose between cooking videos and makeup videos, I don't think I'd know what to choose. And I was always afraid of doing cooking videos on my channel because I thought like I would lose my audience. But after going away for a little while, I kind of figured out what I actually wanted to do with my channel and what made me happy. So I just sort of took a little bit of a risk and did them even though I lost a bunch of subscribers because of it. Uh, so yeah, please let me know in the comments if you guys like these types of videos, what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I think that about covers everything that I have to say, so let's get into it. Welcome to Kevin Cook Stuff in the Office. Okay, first things first, I like to start my mornings off with a little bit of ice water. I have about six or seven waters per day. On to my favorite part of the morning, caffeine. We have an espresso machine, so I typically make myself a little latte. Two shots of espresso with some steamed unsweetened cashew milk and a couple pumps of caramel syrup. This is sweetened with stevia, and I get this at Winners or HomeSense in their little like snack section. On to my breakfast, I'm gonna make some cream of wheat and I start with about a cup and a half of unsweetened almond milk. This is the one that I really like, we get it from Costco. Once my milk is simmering, I pour just over a quarter of a cup of cream of wheat into the milk and I stir it continuously as it bubbles away. A few minutes later, I'm adding two packs of stevia for sweetness, stirring that in and then I like to sprinkle some cinnamon into it. Nothing is worse than burnt cream of wheat or when the milk boils over and spills all over the stove, so you really have to babysit it in order to get it perfect. Cream of wheat is like my childhood favorite. In Romanian, it's called grish. I used to have it every morning as a kid. Or sometimes I'd have steamed milk with like shredded bread pieces and a little bit of sugar on top. Mm. Sometimes I like to top my cream of wheat with jam. That's how I would have it as a kid. Sometimes I top it with brown sugar and just let the brown sugar get all melty and delicious on top. But today I decided to just top it with some banana slices. And of course I saved a little piece for Louis because if I didn't, he would know it and he would feel deeply betrayed. I only really let him have a couple really good bites and then take it away because although banana helps with his digestion, it's pretty high in sugar. Uh, Mr. Burgundy. Mm, just doing my workout. Tuesday's arms and back. I don't know if you heard me counting, I did over a thousand. After my workouts, I like to have a little protein shake. My favorite protein powder for some time now has been the Orgain protein. It's plant-based. I ran out of the almond milk that I got from Costco, so I had to use the silk one. I like to mix my protein powders. I add a scoop of the creamy chocolate fudge and a scoop of the peanut butter, and it tastes like a peanut butter cup, but obviously healthier. It's so delicious. I would highly recommend it. And for a quick little snack while I make my lunch, I'm just gonna have an apple and an orange, and I'm gonna chop them up in little wedges with a side of peanut butter for my apples. Apple with peanut butter is like one of my favorite snacks. 
For lunch today, I'm making a huge soup that should last about four or five days between Chris and I. I'm starting with a mirepoix, which is celery, carrot, and onion. I'm adding some pink Himalayan salt, pepper, and onion powder, and I'm sauteing that in a little bit of vegetable oil. Once they've sweat a little bit, I'm adding a can of tomato paste, which has been mixed with about half a cup of water. To that, I'm adding just a shitload of water. I didn't measure this at all, I just tried to fill the pot up as high as I could. Obviously not right up to the top because it's going to boil over, but you want to fill that bitch up. Now I'm adding half a cup of green lentils and three-fourths of a cup of rice. You can use brown rice, I didn't have any so I used white rice. I'm adding this really early so that the rice and the lentils have time to cook and soften. And once that's simmered for a bit, I'm adding a can of rinsed chickpeas and one large cubed potato. You can pretty much add anything to the soup. Now I'm just cleaning the fluff off the top of the soup and I'm going to add a little bit more salt. And near the end of the cooking process is when I like to add uh, the juice of two lemons and a handful of parsley that has been finely chopped. Growing up, we had some type of soup in the fridge at all times, and I've definitely tried to incorporate that tradition into like my adult life. It's so handy to have a pot of soup in the fridge, and it's so good for you. It's always nice having a warm soup in your belly. Moving right along to dinner time, I decided to make a couple flatbreads for Chris and I. I started by sauteing uh, some white onion with a little bit of balsamic vinegar until the onions got nice and soft and caramelized. I'm also steaming some kale, and while I'm making dinner, I'm gonna have a cold one. We are absolutely addicted to this kombucha. So these here are just some flatbreads I found at, you guessed it, Costco. I'm gonna top them with some seasoned tomato sauce some fresh spinach, some steamed kale, fresh tomato slices, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomato, those caramelized balsamic onions, and some black olives. And uh, once I've assembled everything, I'm popping them in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes, and then we're ready to feast. Alrighty, that's a wrap. Everything that you need to know will be listed in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know if you dig this format in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye!